the program that's out there, Stop the Bleeding, to just give everyone an idea of using tourniquets, um, how to apply the tourniquet, when to apply the tourniquet. That's probably the big um, take of it, is when to actually apply the tourniquet. If it's gonna be bleeding that bad, ideally what I'd do is I'd come up, I'd grab their arm, I put the tourniquet on my arm, I slide it up over their arm, I just come up and I pull, pull the tab, bring it so it goes over, and then I'm gonna go ahead and spin the windlass. I think it's very important. We're not EMTs trained, a lot of us, but we are first responders. And if we're the first person to see now in the water somewhere, come across somebody who has a traumatic injury, then being able to apply a training and save somebody's life. They could be 40 minutes to an hour out sometimes out in the water um, before they get somebody back in. So if they can apply a tourniquet, stop the bleeding, slow the bleeding down, and get that person back into where the paramedics and the doctors can then work on them, the person's gonna have a better outcome. I mean, you trust somebody who's been a professional in the field so much more than, I don't know, a teacher who has book knowledge but hasn't actually done it. So. More knowledge, you know, it's almost like muscle memory. The more you go out, you go through with people, show them how to do something, how to operate different things, how to get the hands on with the tourniquets, you know, looking what, an, you know, arterial bleeding would be versus venous bleeding, um, what type of dressing to apply to each one of those um, is kind of the, the hands-on that people really pick up from and I think they enjoy the, you know, the hands-on or they get a little more info out of that when they get them to, to do that.